Campers, gainer in here. Oh, I keep bashing that thingy with my chair. Uh, right, I was messing around um, last night doing a wreath card. I just, I've got a thing about wreath cards at the moment. Uh, and I did this one, and I love it. But what I didn't do was make my white come all the way to the top and bottom. Um, and it's green inside, so I'd need to put an inlay in there, which I will do right this second. And I just use, mostly, I use card, but on this one I'm using just Xerox paper. It's cheaper. <laughs> and you still get to write your message and decorate inside. It's so sweet, but I'm not loving the green edge. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to be using my strips of white and red. I'm using white on white, so that way. When I attach my card, you can see just white all round and my strips. So, this is a standard card cut by heart, pay, let a card stock cut in half, folded in half. So it's five and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Once it's closed, so that makes it eight and a quarter. This piece is three and seven eighths by four and an eighth and that's going to go smack in the centre of my card and it gives me an inch either side so I've cut my strip this is half inch and this is three quarters and they're just going to get slightly overlaid because the quarter strip I had was so tiny and it didn't look right even though it's an inch now I prefer the little bit of overlay to give me more or less equal of uh, both. So I was just messing around with scraps as well. Again, using up my scrap pieces. Don't like to waste anything. And I won't waste these. They'll go on something else. So, oops, and I just dropped one. <laughs> so I'm going to attach these first. That way when I stamp, I know where to pop this. So I'm going to use my fast views, which is excellent. I don't open my card up. Believe it or not, I'm using a stamp set. The, uh, the piece on earth, believe it or not, comes from Be Jolly Be Golly. And I had this last year and it's now retired, I'm afraid. I don't know why, because it's absolutely stunning. And I've never used it, ever. So I've just used it now on red. And if you want to know how I get my stamps clean, I'll tell you at the end. So I, uh, I can't do with all that red and if this old ones it's only because I have with red on it's because I haven't discovered I didn't discover this stuff until later on in life uh -huh. so I'm just taking this one to the edge and then the red I'm going to overlap it just a touch So this is a half inch, so I'm going to overlap it by about a quarter of an inch. Stunning. And then I'm going to check my card piece. And then I'm going to pop that there while I attach these. The simple things. And all you ladies on Facebook and got me as a friend. Can you please put a love heart on your status? Nothing else. It's breast cancer awareness tomorrow. And everyone needs to be aware of the problems that can come with breast cancer. So I would love that if you would do that for me. And then ask all your friends to do the same. Your lady friends anyway. So this is going to be stuck on our card later, once we've done some stamping. So I'm just going to pop that right up to its edge. Isn't that perfect now? So that piece is going to get slot in there after we've done our stamping. Perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? I couldn't really just stamp on there, but if I make a mistake, I can turn this over. I can't turn over that card. <laughs> So, 
this, believe it or not, is from Merry Mistletoe, and I'm making a wreath with this. Yes, just this. <laughs> Perfect. And I've got it out, and I've not cleaned it from last night. Oof, naughty girl. But I'll get that all clean. And I'm using a little roll of washi tape. Just for me to get a guide to go all the way around. And if any of you like me like wreath cards, you're gonna love this. This is beautiful. So what I do is just the point that's at the bottom here. I press. I'm gonna keep that stiff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it with a little pencil, just top and bottom. So if I move, I can put it straight back in in the in the spot. So you're gonna keep that little ledge there, right up against your. washi tape and just move it around and it gives you even spacing so I'm going to turn my card not my washi because you're pressing up against the washi tape which is still in its place Thankfully, you're going to get that perfect circle. And now what I do then is I overlap and just go round it again. Whoops. There's my air freshener. So I'm just going to, where the bowls meet, you're going to double it up. Perfect. You could have left it in one single, but I like the double effect. Loving this. Keeping my washi tape in place. I have one more there. And one more there. And there it is. There's my wreath. Isn't that pretty? I'm love, love, loving that. So I'm going to get my pencil back and get rid of these pencil marks. Oops! So I don't want to actually do anything yet to this. I want to make sure that it's dry. And if I'm going to pick, let me see which side this goes on my card now. That's the way it's going. So this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top. And for my berries, I just took my marker and just literally did three every couple of, about every half inch, five eighths of an inch. How sweet. You can add as many or as few as you want. You could spread them out further. If you don't have a marker, I'm sure you'll have a stamp somewhere with berries on. That's gorgeous. I'm loving this. Because I don't have a wreath. Uh, I don't think I have a wreath. So you could use as well for a wreath if you've got the stamp set what is it lovely friend with the laurels inside you could have a 3d wreath then lovely laurels thinness but i think this is nice i squeeze another one in there perfect isn't that just the sweetest little thing you've ever seen so now i'm going to take my Cherry Cobbler. Love this colour. And look how red this has gone. And I've already used this on my other card and then got it clean. So, I'm just going to look down. Isn't that just so sweet? 
I love, love, love it. Right, I'm going to be two seconds. And we'll show you this at the end now. I'm going to finish off the rest of the card with you. And then I've just sprayed my stamp on the block. No uh, fussing around. I'm going to come in with my bow maker. I love this. And I did get this from a local shop near me uh, called The Range. I, I think it's only uh, around South Wales uh, that you can get them in the UK. But I have Googled it and you can get these off Amazon and they will ship to America as well because it's an American company <clears throat> for the USA. They sell bow makers as well. I'm going to pull that really tight. Isn't that cute? And you're going to train your tails now. We are going to be using glue dots to hold the centre down and to hold your tails in place as well. So I'm going to cut these quite level at the moment and then we're going to adjust when it's on your card. And I don't really get any waste that way. And this is from the... This is from the la, 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 Quilted Christmas Ribbon, it's called. And you get 9.1 metres of this. Beautiful. I can see a little tiny bit that's patchy there. So I'm going to take my cherry cobbler pen. And I'm just going to... With the fine nib, I'm just going to... Fill in the blanks. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to get my glue dots. I'm going to pull off what I need and one stuck to my finger. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that to the back of my bow. And I'm going to position this right about here. Isn't that sweet? Now I'm going to pop one. I'm going to fold it and pop one under each of the tails. And just place them where I want them. Same again. I want them to stay pretty flat. And then I can get my bow pretty, pretty perfect then. That's sweet. Now, now I can trim my tails. I love this bow maker. That is all the waste I've had off this bow. Now perfect. Test it on my card. And you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I've done it the wrong way round. <laughs> not to worry. I'm going to trim off that. And it doesn't matter that there's a bit of white showing at the top. Because my card's white. I can't believe I've just done that. Boo boo or what. <laughs> so I'm going to take a fraction. Just off this card now. And it's got to be four and an eight. Let me just test that there. Oh gosh, I can't believe I've just done that. Needs another little fraction coming off. Look, sliver. And you Adam and Eva, I just tested this on the card. That's perfect now. So we've got, still got a gap. I'm going to have the gap at the top. <laughs> Please check your paper before adding your sentiment. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm going to pull this all the way down here and glue this onto my card. And I'm going to use fast fuse because I'm going to make sure this doesn't come off. And right up until the 10th of this month, every fast fuse you order, they're going to give you two refills. 
worth seven pound each. So your fast fuse is going to cost you nine pound, or ten dollars, or whatever it is in your currency. I do apologise for not knowing the exchange rate. Um, I got these pearls off the gorgeous. Uh, let me just remember your name, my darling. My head is in the clouds. I will know it as soon as I see it. Uh, Laura Athena Grimont from France. I had to jog my memory then, my darling, I promise you, but I, I couldn't quite think. And I'm, she gave me these as a gift, so I'm popping these. I'm going to try the three sizes this time on my card. I'm going to have this one right here. And then a smaller one. No, I'm going to have the same size. Or the second size. A large, small, and a medium. There we go. Onto my card. Isn't that really pretty? And I don't have to, um, well, I could put something in the centre. Now I put some in my green. Now I'm looking at that. I quite like the green, actually. But I also love the white as well. Look at that one stamped. Absolutely perfect. When Costello's coming out. Add a bit of glitz to this one. Just on the thicker parts of the letters. And everyone in Vegas, I am. Um, you're all in my prayers, sweethearts and sweets. I can't believe what is happening in the world. It's horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I don't normally watch the news, but when you wake up and it's on your breakfast TV in the morning. I don't know what goes through people's minds. They all need to take up a hobby. Crafting. Spread some love, not some hatred stuff. There we have it. Two versions of my card. If you like them, please give me a thumbs up and a share. And if you love them, pop, press the subscribe button and then the little bell straight after. And you'll be notified when I make a video. Oh, two seconds now. Let me just get my, my stamp back. Oh, I do apologise about that. My phone rang and it was my sister telling me about my other sister. Uh, right, this is, it needs a little bit longer, but it's virtually clean. There's a little tiny bit of pink. I'm going to put it back under. But I use this Divestos bleach spray. It's fabulous. But only on photopolymer. Absolutely wonderful. I soak them. All the stains come off, as you saw before I stamped, because I had obviously stamped this one. I spray it with this, leave it, and then go back, and it comes up beautiful. And it doesn't deteriorate these whatsoever. I've been doing it now for about a year, and I've never lost a stamp through it. So that's my secret if you're in the UK. Anything with a spray in the bleach, because it's watered down, it's not pure, so it's not going to do any damage whatsoever to your, your stamp sets. So there's my cards, my lovelies. Thumbs up, share and subscribe would be excellent. Don't forget to press the bell in the corner after you're subscribed. That way you won't miss any future videos. I'm going to love and leave you now because my sister's going to bring me back with some news about my other sister who's very, very poorly in hospital at the moment. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.